Hello, we are Team 28 and we are here to give you the best personalized fashion recommendations. Imagine you bought an amazing t-shirt from H&M. We love the design and your friends have complimented you on how stunning you look. You want more such shirts, like right now. But after hours of scrolling and browsing, you find nothing that you like. We are here to save you this hassle and provide personalized fashion recommendations based on your past purchases. For this, we will use the H&M Personalized Fashion Recommendations dataset with the objective of building a recommender system. This dataset contains purchase history of each customer along with additional metadata about the product such as category, description and image. It also contains data about the customer such as their age and zip code. Given this data, our goal is to predict what products the customer is most likely to purchase in the next 7 days. Product recommendations is a very important problem in the e-commerce industry. The online store offers shoppers an extensive selection of products to browse. But with too many choices, customers might not quickly find what interests them or what they are looking for, and ultimately they might not make a purchase. To enhance the shopping experience, product recommendations are key. This also has positive implications for sustainability as it reduces returns and thereby minimizes emissions from transportation. We studied the deep learning recommendation model by Naomo et al which pro performs predictive analysis using MLP for processing the features. We also studied the collaborative fashion recommendation by Hu et al, which recommends sets of items based on function tensor factorization method, and Magic Closet by Liu et al, which provides occasion-oriented outfit recommendation using a support vector machine framework. Since this is not a standard academic dataset, we will be implementing the baseline approaches ourselves. We plan to implement the following methods. First, Collaborative filtering, which uses user-product interactions without taking into consideration the content of the product. Second, content-based methods, which use product descriptions and images to improve recommendations. And third, neural network-based models, which improve upon the previous methods by using neural network-based features instead of classical features. Since our dataset contains a lot of information about the products themselves, using this additional data in content-based methods would help boost the performance obtained via collaborative filtering. Further, neural networks have proven to be powerful feature extractors. Hence, we believe that neural network-based methods would perform the best, followed by content-based methods, and the collaborative filtering will perform the worst out of our chosen methods. Here is our tentative timeline. In the initial phase, we focus on cleaning and understanding the data. Once we have a good handle on the data, we begin working on the collaborative filtering and content-based method, which we aim to complete before midterm report submission. After that, we work on neural network based methods and finally compare the results of all these methods. Here are the references that we used in this proposal. Thank you for watching.